You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio. And now, let's hear the scripture of the day. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 2 of Psalm 46. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, and though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling pride. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling places of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations made an uproar. The kingdoms tottered. He raised his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, behold the works of the Lord. Who has wrought desolations in the earth? He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots with fire. Cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. During this life, hard times are inevitable. Some watch a loved one suffer and die. Others are wrongly accused or mistreated. People endure crippling ailments. The range of human pain is broad, but there's only one place of true comfort. Today's passage speaks of great calamities, some from natural causes and some caused by men. Such trials often bewilder us, but verse 10 tells us where to turn. God's followers should be still and remember He's the sovereign Lord of the universe. In our world of cell phones and deadlines, it's sometimes hard to stop even briefly. But the key to dealing with difficulty lies in trusting the one in control of all things. Instead of trying to manage the situation or pointing a finger in blame, we should actively wait, watching for God to move and trusting He will act on our behalf. This involves taking time to be alone with our Heavenly Father, crying out to Him, meditating on His truth, and listening to Him. Human instinct urges us to take control ourselves. In contrast, the Lord requires we patiently and expectantly wait upon Him. He also tells us to surrender what we think is right, and instead submit to His plan. Unless our focus remains steady on Jesus, circumstances can overwhelm us. What's your response when trouble arises? You can choose to accept difficulty as a blessing by letting it deepen your relationship with Christ. Whether your current circumstances are good or painful, take time to be still before the Lord. You are listening to Second Chance Ministry Radio.